Creating a limitless life is the ultimate dream. You get to live where you want, you get to work where you want, you get to buy what you want, you get to be who you want to be. The list goes on. This is living fully aligned with freedom. If a limitless reality is where ultimate freedom lies, why are so many of us still living limited lives? When at any moment, you can choose the limitless. Because a limitless life is available for you. I want to help you step into the power, the freedom, and the bliss that comes with the limitless. In this video, I'm going to talk about how we limit ourselves and also how we can free ourselves from these limitations. I'm going to give you some journaling prompts to get clarity on your specific situation. Here's the thing about limitations. They only exist in our minds, like state lines on a map. They were constructed, they were created, when ultimately the land keeps continuing. When you're driving across country, the only time you know that you're in a different state is when you see a sign that tells you, you are now leaving this state, welcome to this state. There's often no difference in the landscape itself. The land just keeps on going. The trees grow where their seed plants. Now, of course, they adapt to the climate that they're in, but they don't hold themselves to different standards based on where they're growing. Yet as humans, we do this all day long. Saying things like, I was born in this place. I was born in this socioeconomic position. I was born this gender. I was born this race. The list goes on again. And then we use these as limitations for what we can and what we can't do. And sure, you might have grown up hearing this in school, by your parents, by society, but just because you heard it repeatedly doesn't mean that it has to be true for you. It just means that these are areas in your life that you need to change your belief systems about. At any time, you can ask yourself what you would rather experience instead and then start living in that experience. We draw these same lines of limitations in our minds. Good, bad, possible, impossible. Another list that's endless. After driving through many states on my adventures for the past few months, this analogy has been on my soul. It was actually a download that came to me while I was hiking, and it just made me realize how true we believe these limitations to be, when in reality, we created them in the first place. Even today, I was watching Ghost, my dog, frolic around the yard, and there's not a fenced-in yard here. I let her run around because this cabin's on a dead-end road, there's very little traffic, and she's pretty well-behaved at this point. But she still likes to wander, especially when she sees a squirrel or a chipmunk. She doesn't understand which land is ours and which land isn't. She goes where she wants and does what she wants to do, normally because she's chasing after something. But she goes where she pleases and she comes back home when she's ready. Now, of course, this means that I'm constantly having to keep an eye on her and call her back if she's adventuring into somebody else's yard. But how freeing is it to go where you wanna go and do what you wanna do? As adults, we don't let ourselves do this. We come up with reasons and justifications why we can't, instead of coming up with solutions on why we can, and then allowing ourselves to follow these solutions. Today, I want you to ask yourself, what limitations have I created in my mind? I want you to journal these questions out. I really want you to tap into the limitations that you are living your life by. List them all out. Don't judge yourself, but just list out any limitations that are coming to your mind. When you're done listing all the limitations, I then want you to go one by one through them. And I want you to ask yourself, why did you create this limitation? And what I mean by that is, 
did somebody tell you early in your life that that was a limitation that had to be true for you? Or did you experience a situation in your life early on that created this limitation based on the experience? And I really want you to journal out these whys and really get to the root of the issue. Where did it come from? Where did this belief come from? When you're done listing out all of the limitations and then going through the reasons why these limitations exist in your mind, I then want you to ask yourself, what if I decided there was another way, a better way to view this situation? And I really want you to journal here on how would you rather experience this? So instead of creating... Instead of creating a belief that supports a limitation, I want you to instead create a belief that supports a limitless reality, one that aligns with the life that you really want to live. I also want you to realize you can choose a limitless reality at any moment, at any age, at any time. It doesn't matter what you've been through or even what you're currently going through. It's never too late. You get to be the exception. And I also want you to realize when you are going after your dreams, you show other people what's possible. Be the person that shows other people what's possible for them too. That no matter where they came from, they can accomplish the impossible. And use this as inspiration when you start to feel defeated or you start feeling self-doubt creep in. And then the next time that you feel challenged, triggered, or seemingly limited, I want you to give thanks. This is what I like to say. You can absolutely implement it as well. Thank you universe for providing me this opportunity to change and grow into my highest self. I'm so grateful for this opportunity. Right then, it changes your energy. It allows you to start believing the limitless and it helps you reframe this as a problem into a solution. It's also going to allow you to release your need to control every situation. You're allowing the universe to support you, knowing that this situation presented itself for your highest good. You get to decide that this is an opportunity to expand, where before you used it as a reason to support your limitations. Use it as a chance to break down the limitation that once existed, knowing it's a false story, a pretend paradigm. It also helps you take your power back. You get to decide that no matter what's happening, you can help course correct so that it goes where you want to go. And now it gets to be resolved for the best possible outcome. Then there is no more good or bad, there just is. How soothing would that feel amongst the chaos? to choose bliss, to know that external chaos is merely a sign for you to choose internal bliss. This is what I help my clients do. Transmute the energy within, transform the external world that's happening because it's not happening to you, it's happening for you. If you're ready to take your power back, claim a limitless reality and live the life you've always wanted, message me on Instagram at authentically Alexa Ray and we can talk about coaching. If you're looking to transform your life from the inside out, make sure you're subscribed to my YouTube channel. On here, I provide mindset shifts, coaching tips, manifestation hacks, and wellness content to keep you showing up as the best version of yourself. Make sure to like this video so that I know to create more content like this. Thanks for hanging out with me. I love you. You're doing amazing.